So people, this is the Dent Bench. This will be a mini series about how I use it along with the tool reviews and occasionally a good tutorial to go along with it. However, if you're expecting me to give you all the pointing, explaining, right and step by step, well then you should strongly consider signing up for denttrainer.com where you can learn far more with a wide range of detail that is structured. Well, so let's get cracking. <laughs> Welcome everyone. If you like my content or haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would greatly appreciate it. Now the Dent Bench, or also known as the Dent Desk, is available from Ultra Dent Tools, or you can just click on the link below this video. At the time of this review, the retail cost is $1,495, with all that is included as you see here. Now the Dent Bench is a perfect way to learn, practice, or even demo your PDR skills for any purpose. Now again, I'm not going to go into all the specifics because this is going to be a soft review of the Dent Desk. It does have a lot of different positions it does, but again, I'm not going to go over into that. I'm going to get you guys familiar with what I'm doing right here and right now. Now it can go on any stable bench or desk without any inconvenient hassle. It even has multiple holes around the frame to emulate side access for hanging a chain for leverage. Or what about a pillar or a rail for glue pulling? Not to mention a brace underneath to demonstrate or practice blocked access points. The Dent Bench Desk, whatever you want to call it, is solid and it holds the panel in place nicely and sturdy. And by the way, the paint job on the panel is very close to a factory finished panel. And it does come with one steel and one aluminum panel just in case you are wondering. All right, let's get cracking part two. I'm going to give you an idea of what I'm going to be using. I'm using a soft tip to actually push these two dents out. I'm also going to let you know the feel and how it works. How is the reaction of me pushing on it compared to like a panel on a hood or a door? And I'm going to tell you right now, it simulates it spot on. It's awesome. I really like it. It's perfect for showing my students over the head and so i don't have to set up a big bench or anything like that or big big hood stand uh, it just works really well i'm also show people how i switch the tips as you're seeing here and i'm using the heel on the back side and then when i push on the back side i'm going to get a much better push or a softer push but at the same time a more accurate push now, as you can see, I zoomed in so you can see the detail. The orange peel, like I mentioned, is just like a factory finish. And what I'm doing here is actually lifting the center up, but I've got to watch the side walls. This is a great, great practice bench, desk, whatever, like I mentioned, whatever you want to call it. And then what it allows me to do is do exactly what I would do on a normal panel that you've seen me before. What I'm trying to do is open up the center of the dent using this tap down, which is technically what you want to call is a VIP tap down tip. It works great without marring up the paint. Then what I do is I go back to a blade tip tool and that's from Blem Tools. And what that allows me to do is start getting more of a sharper push where I want it to at a controlled point now here let me just stop it so you guys can see exactly what i do when i'm training for dent trainer if you guys are on dent trainer this is the type of tutorials i do in this case the black line going across the dent tells me a story the widest part of the dent starts here and the deepest part of the dent is here where you see the yellow part the owl eyes you see are just indicating it's a sharp dent the more I push the dent upward as it gets smaller, the less the owl's eyes become. So back to the feel. Oh, and by the way, I'll be doing a more detailed version on denttrainer.com. So if you feel you need to learn more about the foundation of PDR and advanced training, yeah, you should go over there and check that out. So like I said earlier before, this dent desk has been fantastic. It really gives you a lot of feel. The reaction when you tap down is perfect. Now I'm going to talk about some of the tools I've been using. As you can probably tell, I'm using a LED light. That's the backlit board behind 
and it's made from elimidants, which I'll put the description down below with links as well. You can see it casts a reflection of lines, which I do have another lens cover for it specifically. And what it does is it picks up the detail as you can see in this reflection. Now, what I'm doing is tapping it down, tapping the edges down. I'm not gonna go in very depth of what I'm doing and how it's done because I have another separate tutorial that I upload to Dent Trainer itself with tons of good in-between details that make the big difference. So right here, I got this high spot here. So I ended up getting a tap down from Kiko and Kiko's tap downs are totally underrated. This is the root beer tap down and look how freaking accurate it is. Again, this panel holds up real well. It's not oil canning on me. It feels and, and reacts just like a real sheet metal on a vehicle or if you were working on a hood. But back to that tap down, you definitely got to pick yourself up one if you're looking for a new type of tap down that's accurate. Now I'm going to speed this repair up just a bit and I'll let you guys just gradually watch it. I'm going to probably speed it up two times because it, it can be a little bit long watching it. Anyways, I'll shut up now. Alrighty then, moving on. Sorry, didn't mean to put you to sleep there. It's kind of hypnotizing, isn't it? All right, now we're talking about this uh, this kind of like a mini crane tool. Uh, it's from Stanliner. It's an odd tool. If you've been in the game for a long time as a PDR tech, uh, you are probably going, what the heck is that? How does that work? If you're a new PDR tech, you probably definitely have never seen a tool like this. This tool is legit what it does is it pushes with the heel the backside that you see pointing down towards the dent i'm going to show a little bit of it from behind as well how this tool works and again as far as my thoughts so far when i was using this bench up to this point it's perfect i mean i mean nine out of ten all right i won't say perfect okay nine out of ten <laughs> one out of ten uh, I'm not going to say it's perfect. Let's just put it's an 8.9. All right. I'm sure there's some things that could be improved on it, but far as what it does and what it was designed for, it is a legit bench desk. Meanwhile, let's get cracking one more time. Third time's a charm. Let's go. Now you can see how the design that came up with, because it does look like a snake when you are putting it flat on the panel and as it raises. Uh, the one thing I like about this tool is when it pushes, it pushes very accurately, but amazingly like a soft tip without making marks directly in the paint, as you can see. All right, so let's take a look from underneath, and then you can see how it makes contact with that heel, as I was mentioning. Again, it's very forgiving, shall I say. That's the, probably the proper word. As you push, it tightens up the center without creating pock marks, crack marks, you know, unwanted pushes or sharp, sharp pushes that are very hard to tap down. Now, some of you probably, what the heck? Why is he pushing it up so high? What is, why does he keep stretching it? Now there's a high spot. Well, you see, there's a micro little low in there, and I'm trying to pinpoint that little center pit. That's the impact of where the dent was. If I don't get that out, I'll always have a subtle low or an obvious low, which I don't want. So I have to overstretch that center pit. And once I overstretch it, then I can take my tap down and knock it down back flat. Now I did start out with this, it's called the bomb. It's from Cole Fox out here in uh, Colorado. And I like it a lot because it's got some weight to it and it does knock down. Now I didn't do this the whole time with the bomb. I just set it up to get it to where I wanted to 
uh, use a sharper tap down and then then I continued now one of the foundations of doing paintless dent repair is understanding that tapping down is just as important if not more important than pushing I mean that if your tap down suck your dent is going to suck your dent is going to look like caca and then you're going to try to turn chicken poop into chicken soup which gets really challenging if you don't know why you're doing that make sure you first of all you buy good tap downs the vip tap downs the root beer tap downs i just was showing right now and using from kiko there's dead on dent uh tap downs a lot of them make this is the vip right here as you're seeing right now see how nice and flat you don't want your tap down to give you more work and some of you guys have been using the same tap down for years and wondering why you got to do so much cleanup at the end and you're probably already a good tech you just don't realize some of the small details that help you stay more cleaner and this is why i like these tools i like this bench i think it's perfect for everything so whether you're a tech who wants to do demonstrations for your audience for insurance companies heck even little videos for your your customers that is something to think about also the tools that are used in here are real pdr tools from different tool companies that actually work you know me i am not going to put my mouth there if i don't believe it in myself and you can see how much cleaner and how well these tools help you and me both become better and cleaner techs i hope you guys really enjoyed this slash tutorial review my name is mike toledo and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe talk to you guys later